What's up everyone, my name is Anush Kumar and in this series of videos you will learn ActionScript 3.0 and some Flash. So up till now we learned uh, something about animation, some looping and some buttons. So today what we are going to do is we are going to focus on functions and we are going to make this dynamic uh, buttons. Let me first play it. Okay, which will change the text language. So it's French, it's Spanish, it's English. So you need to open this file uh, which we made. Don't worry if you don't have this file. I'll put it in my website. You can download it. Uh, so let, let's make it. First of all we'll create some buttons by using the rectangle tool. Let's select one color. Okay. So today we'll learn about actually functions, nesting of functions. So let's okay. Let's go to text tool and write something in it, something on it. If you don't know anything about buttons, you can refer to my videos uh, and learn something about them. So what we want to do, whenever the person clicks these buttons, uh, the language, the def default language, which is English, should change to French, Spanish, or uh, whatever your button is displaying. So we'll create some dynamic functions and actually nesting of functions and some codes using some code snippets. So let's create a button, selecting it, grouping it, and the same procedure. So let's make it mm, convert to symbol button. Let's name it btn underscore English. So I'll do all the same to both of them. Okay, I did uh, make both of them using the same procedure. So it's a button whose instance name is btn English. Uh, this is a button whose instance name is btn spanish and this is a button whose instance name is btn french okay let's uh, go to code snippets oh what we did is some shit i'm so sorry but uh, we made this on the animations layer we need to cut this it's a horrible mistake you should make every object or everything in different layers so type it buttons and paste it here paste in place so when you click paste in place it will so it's fixed so go to second layer and see what we did so what we were doing info dot info txt dot text uh, this is the instance name of this text toolbar info underscore txt and uh, what we were displaying is was the animation has played and we're concatenating it with this uh, plus operator and we're displaying the count variable uh, which is converted into a string and times so the animation has played one times two times three times it was displaying with the help of this uh, method dot text so we'll apply this in our using this so let's click on english and let's go to code snippets from here if you cannot see this window you can go to windows and uh, then code snippets from here and click it go to timeline navigation uh, in this video we will not uh, be discussing about add event listeners we'll make that in a future video or so uh, go to go to and frame and stop so this is probably the code let's delete these comments so we did this before but uh, do the same procedure for these two buttons also and oh, cross for the french button also if you don't know anything about code snippets you can refer to my previous videos uh, the links are given below in the video description 
you can check out my whole playlist uh, don't worry I will also give the finished version of this FLA flash file uh, in my website you can download it and you can co just copy or you can just see the codes okay we have three different functions which are calling so first of all we'll make another function which will set our language but before that we need to initialize our variable language so I'll be telling you what I'm doing right now so let's create a variable called lang which is a string if you don't know anything about variables or strings you can just refer uh, my video on uh, variables it's also available so we declared a variable called lang which is a string and given its values English simple so let's go to frame 2 and now we'll create a function called set lang means we are setting a language okay you can name it any set lang okay it's a uh, return type is void actually it's optional you can just uh, it's your wish you can you want it or not so this is the function function name I also have a, a video on function if you want to check it out you can check it that's all I can say about that okay uh, so we are gonna test if the LAN the variable LAN value is equal to English oh. English then do something uh, you can see how beautiful I'm, beautifully I'm indenting each one of them it's a really good practice to indent things it looks nice actually else if the LAN value is equal to Spanish then do something oh. okay else if the LAN value is equal to French then do something else okay so what we did is we created some if else blocks you can check out my video also that's also available so what we want to do uh, this function will check if the LAN variable which you created in our first frame if that value is English uh, we want our text bar to display something in English so info uh, what was the instance name of this very okay the instance name was info txt so let's copy this actually okay sorry about that so what we did is we want to display the value of info dot tx info underscore txt which is the instance name of this text toolbar and uh, we wanted to display the value animation has played which is English if we choose the language Spanish we want it to display like this let me copy it and paste it here and here and change this language to Spanish from Google Translate uh, from English to French let me do it for French I'll Spanish at all I don't know what he's saying Okay, let's paste it for French or oh, Spanish actually la animation hajugado sorry about that okay let's save it so what we did is if it will check the LAN variable first of all uh, okay is English it will display the 
value of a text toolbar in English else if the land variable is Spanish it will check it in it will display it in Spanish else if the land variable is in French it will display it in French so now what we want to do uh, is whenever the button is click this English so let's see what is this button is this button is BT in English so whenever this button is click it will go to this function and perform some task given below uh, given in this curly braces so let's remove this guru and stop and write down our own function so let's write down first of all uh, first of all we want uh, the variable var uh, sorry lan to set to English and similarly here whenever the BT in Spanish button is called or clicked it will it will go to this function uh, you can change the function name which is this function and it will perform some tasks in this similarly in the same manner so let's change the language LAN into Spanish one more thing I want to confirm here is that this should completely match with this because they are both the same strings if this is in capitals S as this should also be capital S because this should match we are using the uh, assignment operator not assign uh, comparison operator actually this was assignment operator which assigns the value this single and this is comparison operator okay and whenever we click the BT in French button so it will okay it will assign the value of lan uh, it French to lan variable so so far so good let's test it off it if we get some error or not okay we have no error but uh, nothing is happening when we click this so it's because we didn't define our function set lan or we haven't actually called this function there are three things in function function declaration function definition and function calling this is function definition or function declaration in this language we have function declaration and function definition at the same time and we will call by the function by set lan and two parentheses and semicolon this is how we call a function okay so we want to call the function here so let's oh sh sorry set lan okay let's copy it let's paste it here and in the same manner let's paste it here so let me explain what I'm what I'm doing right now or what I did is whenever a person clicks this English button let's do it for French whenever a person clicks French button which is BDN French this function will be called so whenever it goes to this function which is this it will execute this block of statements inside this curly braces it will assign the value of land to French and it will call the function set land whenever set land is called it will uh, check if the land value is English no it's not no it's it's not it this will not perform it is Spanish no it is not it will not be so it at last it will check sorry about that if the language is French yes it is the land value was French so it will execute this statement and our text in Spanish will be uh, printed out on the text toolbar so let's see if it works or if we have any errors or not by pressing control enter okay it's working fine Spanish it's working fine French it's working really really fine but uh, we have a bug here um, it's not updating the value of 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 oh no it's not updating it's still it's just showing the value at that time it's not dynamically updating its value it's showing the values updated but not dynamically every time so let's fix this uh,
we didn't call this function setline actually that's why it's, it's not dynamically updating so let's call this function setlan let's save it first let's see okay it's updating wow it's really good our function is finally working so it's a uh, good practice to see what uh, errors you're getting what not uh, by continuously checking it so it's working fine Spanish French and it's continuously updating our default sorry default language is English as we whenever we press control enter our default language is English we can set our default language to any oh but if you want our default language to Spanish you can write it here in the first uh, keyframe and let's press control enter and it's Spanish okay thanks for watching the video please do subscribe and uh, you can check out my finished work here and the before uh, starting work on my website I will provide a link in the video description and uh, you can download these files and you can use it on your website if you want it's completely free okay <laughs> thanks for watching the video bye bye